Hey guys, so today we're going to show you how to enable experimental features in Docker. So this is very easy to enable experimental features. So we're going to start out by becoming root. So we're just going to su to root. Now you can use sudo if you prefer. You can pre prefix all of these commands with, the, with sudo, or you can just sudo su to root, however you prefer. In this case, I am just using su. So um, let's see here, we're going to become root. And we're going to start off by editing our Etsy Docker daemon.json file. So we're going to edit this file right here, Etsy Docker daemon.json. So we are going to add this little line in here, actually three, three separate lines, but uh, in any case, basically adding this one thing. Um, I have curly brackets, so it's a valid JSON, but experimental true. That's it. You just have to specify experimental true basically to turn on experimental features. So we're going to save this file right here. And we are then going to, actually, let's first just check this. So yeah, here's our status of our Docker, our Docker daemon. So uh, let's just restart it. So to enable the features, you actually have to restart it. System CTL restart Docker. And let's just check the status. There we go, up and running. And um, does it say anything in here about, yeah, level, or warning, message, running, experimental. Yeah, build, yeah, running, experimental, build. So it gives you a little message there in the log that it is uh, running with experimental features. So that, that that's one way we can verify that we, we've got what we're, uh, that it's working the way it should. Um, it's like it was saying that before. And anyways, um, let's say Docker version. Now, if we wanted to, we could also just grep this out. Grep-I, E-X-P-E-R experimental true so yeah there, there you go that's how you can verify that you have enabled experimental features so that's pretty easy and straightforward and that's pretty much everything i wanted to cover in this video we may do have to do a future video on what experimental features you might want to try out but this is basically everything we wanted to cover for today all right so hopefully you found this video useful and, um, you know, you might want to give me a thumbs up. Also, you want to hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more videos like this. And we have a ton of other great tech related content. We cover a wide variety of things, everything from like Linux to servers, hardware, software, electronics, Raspberry Pis, 3D printing, cryptocurrencies, um, you, know, you know, Linux, Windows, Mac OS, all sorts of great stuff you're not going to want to miss out on. Robots, um, programming, coding, all that sort of great stuff. Um, you know, anything DevOps or software developer related, a lot, lot of Linux stuff. So if you don't want to miss out on that stuff and you want your YouTube feed to be all that much better, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss, miss out on the, the great content we have coming up after this. You might want to also check out some of our existing content too. Also, hit the uh, little bell icon, otherwise YouTube won't let you know when we do come out with new videos and you don't want to miss out on those. And um, also leave a comment down below if you know something that I don't know or if you have any questions, comments, criticisms, anything you want to say, not just for me, but for the next person who watches this video, um, definitely leave a comment down below. And that is about it for today. So as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on that next video.